you need something. Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Maybe I haven't been as upfront as I should be. I'm here for you, Thane. Whatever you need. You... you are very kind. Thank you for listening, Siha. I think my translator just glitched. What did you call me? See her. Someday I'll tell you what it means. Personnel, I understand there's some concern about handling life, Geth. 
I agree it's a risk, but the potential reward is far greater. Someday your sons and daughters will thank you. Overlord with an emergency message to Cerberus Command. We've experienced a catastrophic security failure and are requesting assistance. We... What do you mean our outgoing comms are jammed? How can it do that?
kidding. going on around here man's reach exceeding his grasp come on I'll explain you have my thanks commander Shepard you bought us some time though probably not much this isn't over yet who did you say you were dr. Gavin Archer Chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. I'd hate to see what you call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What's the worst-case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extranet, who knows where it would end. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you'd never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. Tell me about Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan Station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander.
Roger. I advise extreme caution. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. They stop reporting in shortly after the experiment. Scanning area. Analysis. VI infection is present within plant machinery. Advise caution.
I hear you, Doctor. We've hit the override at Balkan Station and are moving on. Shepard out.
This was too easy. Come on, let's move. Hostile gas activity detected. Armed response is authorized. Cerberus reminds all personnel that this emergency is now classified information. Disclosure to outside parties is a violation of your confidentiality agreement. been spotted. Understood. Right. 
Go get them, Pika. Good girl. Get ready. Don't be surprised if this button summons a Reaper. Thursday's experiment. Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 9 up to 24.16 is 30.4. Earplugs would be good.
does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their phonetics. With his photographic memory, cross-referencing the meaning as a snap, he's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. do anything rash. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. You must believe me. It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. Who gave you the right to play God? People who are too afraid to make difficult decisions themselves. When they pray for a miracle, they're really praying for men like me to make the tough choices. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother would never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Bit of well cared for, lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition?
What I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Quiet. Please, make it stop. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless.